The former bachelorette said she is choosing to focus on grateful moments in a post shared on Instagram Monday Rachel Lindsay is reflecting on a tough 2023. On the same day her husband Brian Obasalo filed for divorce, the bachelorette Harlem, 38, called 2023 one of the hardest years of my life, in a post shared on Instagram. The words accompanied a video compilation of clips and snaps from Lindsay's year, which was posted on January 1st, with a podcast to a TV host adding that she is choosing to focus on grateful moments and carrying that energy into 2024. Obasalo, 43, featured in the compilation, with one photo showing the former couple posing at the launch of Lindsay's novel, Real Love, and another of the duo holding hands. According to court documents obtained by People, the chiropractor, 43, filed for divorce in Los Angeles on January 1st, listing December 31st as the date of separation and citing irreconcilable differences. Obasalo also shared a post about the pair's separation on Instagram Tuesday. After more than four years of marriage, Rachel and I have made the difficult decision to part ways and start anew, he wrote. My parents have been married forever and I'm a family man, but sometimes loving yourself and your partner means you must let go. I wanted you to hear it from the source before the blogs start making up their own reality. He concluded, please respect the spaces of our family and friends as we figure out our next steps. Respectfully, Brian. Lindsay and Obasalo met on The Bachelorette in 2017 and tied the knot in August 2019 in Cancun, Mexico. Weeks before news of the pair's split emerged, Lindsay admitted that she and her husband were living in totally different places during an appearance on Nick Viles' The Vile Files podcast. Explaining how their differing careers affect their relationship, Lindsay said in the December 21st episode, Brian is a sole practitioner, and, he leaves the house at 8. He comes home at 9 o'clock, 9.30, at night, sometimes. It's just him by himself. Me, especially now that I'm not doing extra, I have a lot more free time. And then I'm back in hustle mode trying to get a second job, so I go to events, she continued. So, we're just in two totally different places.